friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today I'm gonna to do a video um, continuing my series here that I've kind of been doing on teaching children to read. And today's video is gonna be all about teaching long vowels. And I'm going to be showing you the activities that I have here from Unit 3, Long Vowels, of my Phonics for Reading program. You do not have to own the program to um, get some helpful tips from this video, but if you do own the program, hopefully this video will give you just kind of a more in-depth look at how to use the resources. And um, if you don't own the program and you get interested in, um, in it, I will leave a link below where you can go ahead and check it all out. Okay, so today's video is teaching long vowels. So uh, if you have seen any of my other videos, I talked a little bit about when you're teaching reading, you want to start with teaching the alphabet. So you want to teach the children to recognize each letter and to say the sound of each letter. And then the next step is I move on to um, the short vowels and we, we start segmenting and blending um, consonant and vowels and short vowels. And then today we're moving on to the long vowels. So, okay, so I'm going to start by showing you the flashcard sticks and how we use them. So there are three different types of flashcard sticks. And the first type are these ones. Um, they have the picture as well as the word. And then the other types are we have just the words. They look like this. Okay. And then the third type are just the pictures. And so what we do is we start out um, with the ones that have the picture clue and we just read them. And I like to put them in um, Play-Doh. The kids like to put them in Play-Doh. As the children are learning to read the words, we will talk about the vowel patterns and the rules. So the long vowel rules um, go something like this. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Or what it means is that when there are two vowels together, the first one says its name and the second one is silent. The same thing kind of works for when there is an E added it's to the end of the It still follows that same rule where there's two vowels, the first one says its name, second one is silent. They're just not together. Like in goat, they're together, but in bike, they have a consonant in the middle. Um, and then usually the one at the end is going to be the E. Okay, so another thing we will do is we will mark our flashcards. So on this one in particular, let's say this is the word bike, we will, I will have the children use a dry erase marker to mark the vowels. So they will mark I long and cross out the E because E is silent. That's how you mark a long vowel word. Same thing would work with, let's say the word goat. They would mark the O long and the second one would be silent. It just helps them learn the patterns and the rules for the phonic sounds. So some other options that you have, if you do not want to um, put your flashcards onto popsicle sticks like I did, you could go ahead and put them on a ring and then have the kids flip through the ring to uh, read the words. Or I have also purchased um, those old little photo books, you know, the slip photo books where you can slip a, a picture inside of them. I've purchased those before. In fact, at the dollar store, they're really cheap. And then you can slide each one of these into a page and just have the kids flip through the book that way. So there's just different options. You don't have to put them on sticks like I do. I just enjoy putting them on sticks because I think it's a lot of fun. All right. So another thing we do is then after the kids have gotten used to reading the words and gotten used to the rules of, um, the long vowels. Then we move on to the sticks that do not have um, any picture clues, okay? And so what we do is we will go ahead and use these sticks. We will read the words. We will talk about the different um, vowel patterns that you see in them. And then we'll play a little matching game. And you've probably seen this in some of my other videos. And I'm just pulling a couple different sticks here. I know some of them have the same vowel sound. But, um, so what we'll do is we'll read through and if you take a look, there is a dot underneath um, single consonant sounds and then there's a star underneath any of the, the special two vowels that are together for the long vowel rule. So two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. There's a little star there because there's only one sound. So like in this word, eat, E and A make the sound E because the A is silent. So we just need one um, one star to represent the two sounds, okay? And then taking this one right here, you can see that um, there's nothing underneath the E because the E is silent. So the only sounds we hear are k, i, t, 
height. Okay, so there's nothing underneath that E. That one is silent. Okay, so what um, I do then is after they've read the words, then I will give them their picture sticks here, and they will just have to go ahead and match. Okay, so once they match up, them up, they will just place the cards in front of their sticks, or like I said, you could have them stick it right in there with the correct one, like. So, you see that? Okay, or you could give them a second thing of Play-Doh. So you could do it like this, where there's two tubs of Play-Doh. You've got the word there, and then they find the correct one, and they match it up just like so. Okay, really quick, as you've seen in some of my other videos, um, the next thing that I have here are our fluency strips. And you can kind of notice here that we just did this, these fluency strips this morning. So he, I actually had him marking vowels with the dry erase marker as he did it. Um, and so basically he just sounds them out. B, ache, fake. And then he says the whole word, fake. So, d, yun, dune, dune. All right, after he's done it, he colors in a smiley face and goes on and he goes on. I've shown you this in other videos. So this is the one we did this morning. So you can see there's like a lot of writing on there as he was marking things. Um, but you can tell that there are just a handful of those. And then we didn't do any of these yet this morning, but these ones have the missing uh, vowels. And what he does is he will do, he can fill in the letters if he wants, or he can just say them. So he can say, say the vowel sound. So he would say A. And he would say the whole word, cane, and then he can um, go on to the next one, or you could even have them say the pattern. So if you want them to say A, cane, A, E, I, nine, I, E, O, coat, O, A, E, sleep, E, E, U, fruit, U, I, E, leaf, E A. Now that is a child who would be proficient in knowing the different patterns um, right off the bat. If they're not quite ready to say the patterns, they could do it like this. A cane, I nine, O coat, E sleep, U fruit, E leaf. That way um, they are saying this, still saying the sound, so they know what sound it's supposed to be, but they're not quite yet ready to move on to saying the actual vowel pattern. Um, and of course, they would color in the sm star, or smiley face, do it again, color in another smiley face, if they're correct again, they color in their third smiley face. So it's for fluency, that's why they do it three times in a row. So um, that's what these ones look like. This next activity is called Build It Strips, and the Build It Strips look like this, and there are all long vowel words and the kids are going to either use magnetic letters to build the word or they can just build it right by writing it with their dry erase marker so i'll just show you one of them so this one is the word feet so they're going to go ahead and use their magnetic letters and they're going to build the word feet okay and each one has the squares that kind of show them if it's a taller letter or a lower letter or just a regular mid-sized letter and so on. Okay, the next component um, to teaching the long vowels and part of this unit are the phonics readers. So there are two different types of sets. So the first type of set looks like this and these phonic readers are the ones that you start with because they help the kids say the sound. So long A, A says A in cake. A says A, A, A. Um, the kids can follow along. Down here, it tells you um, the rules. So when a word has two vowels together or a vowel consonant E pattern, the first vowel usually says its name and the second vowel is silent. So it's just a good reminder to remind the kids of the rules before they read. Now, what they're going to be doing in these books is they're going to sound out the long vowel that's on the page. So this one is game. So they're gonna do G, A, M. And then there's a star here telling them that the E is silent. Game. So sometimes you might see 
a star underneath the E, or sometimes you might see nothing at all. It's just um, a way to tell the kids, hey, you know what, Th there's something special about this one. It doesn't say anything, okay? So, um, G aim game. And then I used the word in a sentence. We play a game. If there were any other long vowels, uh, words, I made sure I made them red so the kids could see the pattern. So here's the word rain, r ain rain. See it rain and rain and rain. All right, so they're gonna go through and just, you know, a whole bunch of long A words. And then the very last page reviews all of those long A words. And the same thing goes for like the long O book. It's gonna be all long O words. You get the idea. The long U book is gonna be long U words, long E, okay, and long I. All right, then I also made another set of books. These are just regular phonics readers. So they're stories that use a lot of long vowel words. So for example, here's play in the rain. And it uses a lot of long vowel words. Dave likes to play in the rain. Gail finds plants in the rain. So it's just a, a story using the word rain and a lot of other long vowel words. And then at the end, all of the long vowel words that were used are on this page. It says, read these long vowel words from this book, color a smile face each time you read them. So it kind of gives the kids another fluent uh, type of fluency practice as they practice these words over and over again. And the same thing goes for each of the books. Here's time for tea. Mike and Jane like tea. Sue will bring tea to the table. You know, so on. So they're gonna read it and then they will go over the long vowel words on the back. Okay, so we have um, a story called Clean Pets and it's about the kids cleaning their pets. And then Jake Camps is the other one. And it's just a story about Jake going camping. And of course, there's the words at the end. So the next component I'd like to show you are the Flip It books for this unit. And the Flip It books are just books, here I'll show you some of them, that um, make it more interactive for the kids to kind of practice the sounds and the, for this particular unit, the long vowel sounds and practice the pattern. So in this book, this is book three, you can see we've already been using it and um, they've just been using dry erase markers to fill in the missing letters in this book, but you could also use your magnetic letters as well instead of a dry erase marker, just like so. And let me show you some of the other ways they can practice. So here's book one, and book one has a mixture of mixed practice activities. So like this one, they have to match the same vowel sound. So here we have paint. Paint and rain have the same vowel sound. And then we have glue and we have um, cube that would have the same vowel sound as glue because they both have the long U. So there's just different ways to practice. These, one, these pages I really like. Um, these ones, they have to read uh, word families. And so they're gonna read the entire word family. Male, pale, gale, and snail. And then they have to mark the one that matches the picture. So this one would be sleep, keep, weep, deep, and the one that matches would be sleep. Now another way to, um, oh here's one that has the missing vowels like I showed you, but another way to, to mark your answers is you can use manipulatives. So if you don't wanna use dry erase marker, I've showed in my other videos where you can use manipulatives. Here I have, these are pom-poms with magnets attached, and then um, these are just little gems that I got at the dollar store. They're like planter, for a planter. And we like using those as well. So on this page, they actually have to match the picture to the word. So here's the word cute, they read it. And then they look down here and they find the picture that matches and they can cover it up with just um, whatever manipulative they have on hand. Here's toad, toad matches. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cover him up. Another thing you can do is have the children use dry erase marker to mark the vowels. So here I'm marking cute as long, and I'm marking toad as long. The first vowel says its name, and the second vowel is silent. So that's why we have the long um, line over it means long, it says its name, and then the crossing out means it's silent. So it's just another um, way for them to practice. Here's a page where they have to um, co co color in the vowel sound, so they can use a dry erase marker to color it in, or one of their manipulatives they can mark it with. 
as well. So for this one, color on the Valsam, for rake, it's long A, so I would go ahead and use one of my manipulatives to cover it up. And for this one, eat would be long E, so I would cover it up like so. And then just some of the other books, here's book two. Book two is just more of those um, coloring in those vowels. And book four is more of the uh, word families and marking the correct one. And I always make sure the kids read all the words before they are allowed to mark which one matches. It's just great, again, fluency practice and practicing those um, special patterns that they see. Okay guys, I wanted to go back to the flashcard sticks for just a minute. And I put one of them in some Play-Doh because I wanted to show you these um, little blocks, I guess, I forget, the Unifix cubes that I bought. These Unifix cubes are letter Unifix cubes. So you've probably seen them, um, you've probably seen these like to be used for math. Sorry, you can't see it. You've probably seen them being used for math before, but you can also get them that have letters on them and kids can use them to build words. So here I'll show you my whole set. It looks like this. I have them in this container. And uh, I, I bought them off Amazon. So you can just go search for um, Unifix cubes or alphabet Unifix cubes. And then what they can do is they can just hook them together and make the words. And so um, one thing that we do like to do is we take the picture cards and then the kids will actually just make the word on their own, either using magnetic letters or whatever you have. Sometimes we use um, letters from puzzles. And another thing I want to show you is we use these, these little Unifix cubes. Now one side has capital letters and then the other side has the lowercase letters. So we really do enjoy using those as well. Just uh, thought I would show you that to give you another option of something you guys can use along with your um, flashcard sticks. Another component to this curriculum are these fill-in and mats, and they look like this. And they're missing the vowels, but they also have a place for the kids to fill in the other letters that are not missing. So for example, they're gonna take a, a mat, so let's say they're gonna do this mat rain, and they're gonna use any manipulatives you provide them to fill in the letters. So here I have those little gems I was showing you, and they can go ahead and just use their fingers to kind of manipulate the little manip the manipulatives to make each letter, and they can say the sound, so they're doing er and n, so the beginning sound is er, the ending sound is n, and the last step is they are gonna go ahead and um, take their letter, magnet letters and fill in the missing vowels, okay? Or they can, of course, use their um, Expo marker, their dry erase, and they can go ahead and write them in. So this one would be leak. And then they would, of course, use whatever manipulatives you provided them to fill in the letters. We've used um, er little erasers, we've used these, we use these little pom-poms, um, just whatever you have. You can even have them colored in, like different colors. You could tell them what color you want them to color them, however you want them to, to do it. It's just a way to, to make it a little bit more fun and make the practice, practice hands on. Okay, friends, we are on to an exciting part of the curriculum. This part is the activity, or the activity centers. So this first activity center uses um, strips that look like this. And what the kids are gonna be practicing is adding on that magic E or that special E at the end of a word to make the other vowel say its name. So you're gonna be provided with a little E on a star and you wanna attach it to a clip. It looks like this, okay? And then they're gonna take a card and they're going to read the short vowel word. So they're gonna read not, then they will add on their clip onto the star. Now they're gonna read the new word. It says note. And then the last step is they have to find the picture that matches. And I have this one right on top here. And they would put it on their card. So they have note and now it matches their picture and they're done with that one. They can go on to the next one. So they would read rid. And then once they add the E on there, now it's ride. And then they're gonna find their matching picture just like so, and then go on. There's just a whole bunch of these for them to practice. 
I wanted to show you when I store my activity centers, I store them in plastic bags like this, but this particular center, I put all of the cards together and then I just use the clip and I clip them together when I put them back in the bag so that they don't you know, go all over the place. And so I have it ready to go just like that. Okay, you guys, this next activity center is so cute. It's called Bill Long Vowel Burgers, and the burgers look like this. I'm gonna pull out two of them. I'm gonna pull out the Long U ones. There's a couple of different Long U ones, but I'm just gonna pull out two of them because when I do this activity with the kids, I would probably just give them two of them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna give them the top of the hamburgers, and then you're gonna mix up the rest of the pieces. And like I said, I would only do two different ones at a time. So you mix them up, and then they take a piece and they read it. Juice. Juice is spelled U-I, so it would go here. They take another piece. So let's see, I have bruise. Bruise is U-I. And then I have suit. Suit is U-I. I keep grabbing the same. I keep grabbing the same one. Let's see. I have fuel. Fuel is U-E. But this is the bottom of the um, burger, so I'm just going to kind of put it down here. And what they're really doing is, here's argue. They are... Um, there's glue. They're just building a hamburger and they can move the pieces around once they figure out where they go. So here's blue. This is cheese. This is lettuce, ketchup, uh, mustard, cheese, and my meat here, tissue. So this one is done. And then here I have cruise and fruit. So there, my burgers are complete. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that fun? Um, and so that I just have them for all the different long vowel patterns in here. And you can just, like I said, I would just give them two at a time and have them go from there. This next activity center is making long vowel words with Play-Doh. Okay. And so this one, what you can do is you can have the kids use the picture clues over here. And so they look at the first one and it's bike. And they have to decide, how do I spell the word bike? Okay, because it follows this vowel pattern. All the ones on this, this mat follow this vowel pattern. There are different mats, as you can see. There are different vowel patterns. Okay, so I'm just pulling out this one just to show you. Then what they're going to do is they're going to roll out their um, Play-Doh to make the letters. So, for example, this one, I'm going to make a B because I'm going to make the word bike. Okay. So there we go. Now you make the word bike. And then the last step is they're going to use their dry erase marker and they're going to write the word bike on the line. And then there's enough space here that they can write all four. They can, they can take their Play-Doh off, do the next one. They would do fire. Um, they would make it and then they would write fire on the line and so on. There's kite and there's um, hive. Okay, there are other words that they could do. They could do other words that aren't pictured here. Um, these, these ones are just pictured just to kind of give them a clue or give them an idea of what words that they can make with this vowel pattern. And lastly, for the last activity center, I have some clip cards. Clip um, cards are always we fun. We use either manipulatives, like I've shown you, to mark our answers, or we can obviously use clips to mark our answers as well. Um, but this time I'm gonna show you manipulatives. So really all they're gonna do is they're just take manipulative and cover up the word that matches the picture for each one. So here's glue. I wanna cover up glue. Hey guys, one last thing I wanted to show you is that in unit three and in all of the units of my phonics reading program, I list the skills and um, the uh, standards that the kids are supposed to be able to meet throughout the curriculum. So here you can see this is the page for unit three on long vowels and these are the skills that the kids have to master. If you want to see these skills um, before you purchase, they are in the um, preview file and you can see that uh, when you are going through to um, purchase this curriculum. But I wanted to show you that, there, so that way teachers do have a guide that kind of shows them an overview of what the skills and standards are that are supposed to be taught in that unit. And so all of these activities that I showed you are to uh, meet these standards. All right guys, that is it. I will talk to you next time, bye.